Let us all pray silently, meditating on God's word. Father of blessings, what well, you will repay us for our actions. Father, what kind of good deeds did I do today? Father, what have I done to give glory to you today? Help us to repent one more time and help us to find our place. Father, did we not live with, spend today with our worldly love and kill myself? Father, when we say things, did we not share your word but only the worldly words? Father, instead of sharing your witness of, of your works but saying vainful things, help us to be forgiven today and, and become blessed people. Help us to have big realization and receive all the blessings that you have in store for us. All this we pray in Jesus' name with thanksgiving and blessings. Amen. God is living. God is alive. Romans 2, verse 6, what you, according to your actions, He will repay you. Galatians 6, verse 7, you will reap what you sow. So then today, what did we do today? So all of you right now, look around you. Even though you think you are in a bad state, but there are people who are worse off than you. And when you see that, it doesn't. You shouldn't just end it with yourself. But what is a church? Church is Christ. And what is Christ? Christ is love. Church is giving benefit to others. And that is why Christ needs to come inside us. Then we become a church. So then, church is you give bless, you give benefit to other people. But Pastor Park, but I am poor. I don't have anything to share. That's why I'm not saying you need to give, but you should come to church and tell the church. Pastor Park, Pastor No, around me, that person. No matter what religion they don't don't worry about what religion they believe in. When Jesus did his miracles, he didn't say, "Oh, the people who believe in other religions." Let's leave them out. No, worldly things is worldly education. Do not, do not say bad things about them. Because if you do, then you will receive death sentence. But fake church Christians, they say if they believe in other people, believe in other religions, they slander them and say bad things. Then people shouldn't go to, to schools at all. Then why, 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 Pastor Park, why do you say that? So why do you call that education? Yes, there are many educational um, pro things. You have to study that so you can use that to, to spread the gospel. You need to use that for, for spreading the gospel. First Corinthians chapter 9, that shouldn't be above the word because you don't know the what's above what. That is why. What is life of faith? That is giving benefit to others. That's First Corinthians 10 verse 24. You have to give benefit to others, but you don't. So then, because they believe in other religions, you slander them? So what is the other religion? That is elementary, elementary education. Then if they do that, they will be led to, to Christ. Galatians chapter 3, it's written there. But if you slander that, then you're going to receive the death sentence. You and your children will be cursed. Why do you want to do that? So instead, give bad name to Jesus. Even now, God is saying, those who throw stones at him, even those people who kill Jesus on, on the cross, God still wants them to come back and repent. Because even if they don't come back, then God will curse them. Yes, according to the, what they sow. But God waits for them. But, but you think you're God? That's why you're slandering them? What do we look up? We didn't look it up. So let's look up 1 Corinthians 4 verse 6. So do not judge others, but you... But instead, you judge other others, and you're cursed. First Corinthians, what chapter? Second Corinthians? No, First Corinthians. Let's look that up. Chapter four, verse six. Ready? Go. Now these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and Apollos for your sakes, that in us ye might learn not to go beyond the things which are written, that no one of you be puffed up for the one against the other. Amen. Let's read verse 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 4 verse 3. Ready? Go. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you, or of man's judgment, Yea, I judge not mine own self. Amen. If you read after that, you're not allowed to judge. When Lord comes back, then Lord will judge. Are you the Lord? 
Are you God? Well, so why, why do you want to judge? Arrogantly. If you judge, then you're saying you're God. So if you judge these people, what do they listen to? Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Let's look that up. Which word are you listening to that you're, you're judging? You don't listen to the word of Christ. You don't, you don't listen to the word of repentance. You're just listening to any word, then you become Satan. If you read the Bible without repenting, then the Bible will kill you. And yet people don't even know that. And yet they, they say it's, it's food, but they eat it and they're going to die. Why? Because there's food for the animal. You have to eat food for people. Romans 10 verse 17. Ready, go. So you have to believe by listening to the word of God. You have to listen. So belief comes of hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. You have to listen to the word of Christ. So then when I say that Christ is the force of repentance, they, then you should ask them, what does Christ is? What is Christ? What is forced repentance? They can't even answer that. So our ancestors, what do they say? They said, if you take a picture of them, they said they, you take the spirit away. And they used to run away from taking a picture. And there are people that if you cut their hair, they thought that they're going to die, so they run away. That is how ignorant they used to be. Faith is what do you need to, what word do you need to listen to? You need to listen to the word of force of repentance, the word of repentance through the mystery of God. So you have to listen to that so that you will, be, you will receive faith. But instead of listening to the word of God, you say, oh, but this person said, or that professor said, is that person wicked or is, is he good? No, they're perishing animals. So why do you listen to the demons? So going to heaven, Exodus 15, verse 26, whose word do you have to listen to to go to heaven? You have to listen to the word of Christ. So you can receive faith as a gift. God said, Romans 10, verse 17, God has decided. So then God has decided the, the, the word of Christ. You have to listen to it. You have to listen to the word of forced repentance. Because you now listen to that, that's why you don't have faith. And you're going down the wrong life. So listen to the word of Christ, then that means you're going to repent. So when you repent, then you will receive faith as a gift. And that is why we have to listen to the word of Christ. You have to repent so you can live. So the word of Christ, you have to listen so you can live, so you can receive faith as a gift. So the word of Christ, the people don't listen to that. Who is that? Let's look at 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. So the word of Christ, if you don't listen to that, so the word of Christ, what happens when you listen to that? You'll receive faith as a gift. So that's why you say, you, everybody, you have to believe, you have to believe faith is the greatest, but you, they don't even know about listening to the word of Christ, and yet they say they believe they're full of lies. So, But people say, listen carefully, even Pastor Park, all this, all this, um, this pastor says, this famous pastor, if you say that, if you listen to the worldly people, if you listen to people, they're listening to the demons. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. That pastor, that, that deacon, just listen to what they're saying. Then you can tell, oh, they're listening to the demons. You have to know, the, be able to differentiate. If you listen to the word of Christ, then you will receive faith as a gift. For John chapter 8, verse 47. It depends on who you listen to. So even if you look at the Bible, you don't receive faith as a gift. Even when you listen, even when you look at the Bible, it has to be the word of Christ. Romans 10, verse 17. The word of Christ will give you, give you faith. And other than that, Everything else will kill you. If you don't receive faith, then you're going to die. So then, who are you listening to now? Are you listening to the demons? If, if faith leaves you, if, if faith leaves you, then you listen to the demons. So what, so what is a sign? Oh, that professor said. Oh, that pastor said. Oh, the elder says. Oh, somebody says. Then they're full of demons. In the world, there's so many wrong things going on. And you can say, oh, through, with the word, that will change you. Oh, that person is actually giving, worshiping idol, idols. And in, according to the Bible, that is wrong. You can say that. But you cannot say above the word somebody, worldly people. No. For Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. So who are you listening to right now? Are you listening to the word of Christ? Then you'll receive faith as a gift. But if you don't, what is the word of Christ? That's forced repentance. But otherwise... Then you're listening to something else. You're listening to the demons. Let's read together. Ready? Go. But the Spirit says expressly that in later times some shall fall away from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. 
through the hypocrisy of men that speak lies, branded in their own conscience as a as with a hot iron. Amen. So when your conscience is branded and you're hurting other people, when you're slandering and saying bad things, and that means you're listening to demons. Oh, that person says this. Oh, that person is a bad person. So you're listening to other people, then you're listening to demons. Then you're slandering others, you're cursing others. That means that you're, you have demons inside. So why do you listen to those with demons and that you have faith that's left you? Who is that? They're the ones that have their conscience is, is seared. They listen to the demons. So then they listen to demons and they don't even know that they're listening to demons. So, so when I look at you, you say, oh, somebody says this. When you say, oh, somebody says it, that means that you have demons inside. So whose word are you listening to? You're listening to demons. The faith has left you, so then you're listening to demons. If you have faith, then you'll receive the word of God as repentance. So the word of Christ, you'll receive it as word of Christ. It's, you're different. So then you say, well, how come things aren't working out for you? Because you have to have faith. Well, according to your faith, it'll happen. Matthew 8, verse 13. According to your faith, it'll work. But you don't have faith. So you say you had faith, but what, what did you do? Oh, but I did force repentance. And then whose word did you listen to after that? Oh, some pastor said this, or that's the seminarian professor said, so you're listening to demons. We have to live by the word of God. If you listen to worldly things, and so you have to rule over that, and you're only listening to that to actually use that to spread the gospel. It's not, it cannot be above the word of God. For example, so let's say somebody committed suicide. Does it say in the Bible that you should commit suicide? No. Your life doesn't belong to you. Romans 14, verse 6. It doesn't belong to you. So then if you commit suicide, how can you expect to do well? And that is why. Then, oh, that person committed suicide. Then the Word of God says that's a sin. For example, oh, that person did something wrong. Or that person is actually slandering others. Then the person who is slandering, then you are you receiving that sentence. You have to actually teach them what it says in the Word of, word of Bible. Word of God. They're, they're going to receive the death sentence and they're killing themselves, their family, and, and they're killing, they're, they're harming the, the country. Oh, who says that? Oh, this person would say, say that. They're referring to somebody. So if you pretend or if you imitate other people, then you have demons inside because faith has already left you. Let's read it one more time. Ready? Go. But the Spirit says expressly that in later times, some shall fall away from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons through the hypocrisy of men that speak lies, branded in their own conscience as with a hot iron. Amen. Amen. That is why if faith has left me and if I have demons inside, then already you're listening to the worldly things. You're sitting there listening to that. So then if you, if you according to the Word of God, you don't receive blessings, that means that you're not being, you're not being obedient to the commandment of loving your neighbor. Instead, when if your neighbor says something that's like worldly things, then you have to be able to point point out: Are you listening to the word of God? Are you are you saying the worldly things? If you listen to the word of God, then you live. But if you listen to demons, you die. Faith has already left you, and you're going to be doomed. So, what are you saying right now? What is coming out of your heart? What your mouth? Let's look up Hebrews three verse thirteen. But you guys don't do that. So today you didn't do that. That is why that's a problem. Everybody, why are you not receiving answers from God that you don't, you're not a person of faith? But why is it that you say you did force your repentance, but your life is so bad, it doesn't work out? If you look at that person, because he's evil, when other people say worldly things, instead of reprimanding them, they become one with them. Because God said that if you, if you talk behind other people's backs, then you're going to, that's that sentence. You're the same. That's why you, you, you say it together. Oh, this person. If you want your name to be well known, then you belong to Satan. God said, God does not want us to only the word, only the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. God wants us to only boast about that. Romans chapter 1, verse 28. Why? Because it doesn't belong to us. Galatians 6, verse 14. If your employee doesn't actually only wants his name to be well known instead of, of the company, then that person is going to get hit. That, that person is going to get laid off. So then that's why God will not leave us alone. That's why we only have to boast about God. 
God kills us or gives us, makes us alive and, and in everything in between. It says John chapter 1 verse 1, the word is God. So the word of God is, is like this. That's all we have to share. If you don't do that, then you're listening to the word of God, the, the worldly things. The worldly, th the worldly things, they have demons. The faith has already left them. So how can that be a, a congregate member or how can that be a deacon or a pastor? You have to be able to differentiate between right and wrong. If you have demons inside, you listen to demons. But if you're truly a good Christian, oh, that person's a seminary student or that person's a pastor, but what do they need from God that God acknowledges them? In the Bible, it says, those who received wisdom, and after that, then that he will receive knowledge and deep understanding. So when you have knowledge and deep understanding, only those people who have received it is sent by God. Everybody else, they, they study on their own and they anointed each other. They're all fake. They're selling the name of Jesus. God has not sent them as, a, as his tool, as his uh, person. So who, whose word are you listening to? You should be listening to the word of the servant that God has sent. That's what Ecclesiastes chapter 12, 12 verse 9. Those who have wisdom, they will, they will share the knowledge. They share the knowledge. To the people, his people share the knowledge. That's why the people, Hosea 4 verse 6, they will be doomed if they don't have knowledge. But if you have knowledge, then they're not going to be doomed. So then God's servant will share the knowledge and and he will meditate on the word without ceasing. And then they realize the Proverbs and they can share the Proverbs. That's, what, that's the person that God has sent. And that person is, is the worker that God has sent who has, who has, who has wisdom, Ecclesiastes chapter 12. So, so look at An, Ancholu demon. He has believed for a long time. Who, who was born into a Christian family here? Nobody here? So let me ask. So elders, were you born into a Christian family? You believed? Who was born into a Christian family? Whose parents are Christian? What, you're ashamed to say? Of course, Pastor, no. I already know. So why? If I ask Pastor Noah that you will say that we actually decided ahead of time. No, if you were born as a Christian, the pastor that, pa that God has sent has knowledge and deep understanding. He has, and no, you have never heard that. Why is it that? Because the fakes, they all want, they're all fake. That's why the fakes, they all want to, they're all grouped together. So why does it, well, how come they didn't say, they don't share that what's in the Bible? So how can you have listened to that and receive blessings? No. Then you cannot say that pa Pastor Park has decided. No. Just because Pastor Park, Pastor Park is not like God. It's the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. Jeremiah 3 verse 15. It says that true pastor that God has sent is not a fake pastor, but a true pastor has knowledge and deep understanding that God has sent. Who has given. So how come they don't share that with, with you? They can't share it. Otherwise, they will they will be found out that they're fake. And yet they say, you're right, I'm right. So if God says he's wrong, then they're wrong. So if you don't listen to the word of God, then who do you listen to? For Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2, you're, faith is left and you're listening to the demons. You listen to demons, you'll be doomed. Which country with a theory that hasn't been doomed? With the, with the people's theories, they're all doomed. Only the word of God will not be doomed. So what are we doing? We're here to, to listen to the word of God. It is, a, it is a spiritual food for humans. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, what does it say? You have to find your genealogy. And then after that, you'll become a person, honorable man. And Matthew 4, verse 4, you have to listen. You have to eat the word of God so you can live. So in, you don't even know about eating the word of God. You've never even heard of finding your genealogy. You don't even, you haven't even heard that you have to listen to the word of God. Eat that as your spiritual food. And you don't even, you've never heard who the true pastor is. And yet, if faith has left you, then you're not a true pastor. If Pastor Park doesn't repent and has demons inside, then he too is not a true pastor. It's a fake pastor then. So if you did force your repentance and your eyes are open and your ears are open, you can tell if Pastor Park is real or fake. If he's fake, you need to leave. So why is it that fake, fake churches, they don't teach 
They don't teach this. If you repent, do your eyes open or not? Matthew 13, verse 14. If you repent, your eyes will open and your ears will open. You can tell if that pastor or that sermon is fake or not. You'll be able to differentiate. But how come they don't teach you that? So that they can all be, scam you, that's why. And yet they say, give this offering, pay this offering. Why? Why do they say, pay the offering of thanksgiving? So why should you pay into that fake church? You're all going to be doomed, Matthew 15, verse 14. If they say the worldly things, that they, then you should know that they have demons inside. But if they say, listen to the word of God, then you should know that they're a true pastor. Those who listen to worldly things, they li they're listening to demons. Here, if faith leaves you, then you listen to the demons. Let's look up Matthew 12, verse 28. If faith leaves you and you have demons, then that, that's all worldly things. So that you can do so well, the Bible is telling you, teaching you, but instead we keep wanting to listen to demons and ruin our lives. So why doesn't it work? Because you listen to demons. Which God's going to bless you? You have to be obedient to His words so He can bless you. So that is why this during this Chuseok, during this harvest, Thanksgiving, mid-autumn festival, when you, after the service, you go out and you listen and you look at your neighbors, if your eyes are open, you'll see them. You can see if they're smiling or you can tell if the spouses have, have been arguing or, or the children are crying. When you, when you listen to that and while repenting as your own sin, Philippians chapter 2, verse 4, God is letting you listen to that. Hear that so you can repent it as your sin. If if a baby is crying and listen to that as your own sin, repenting, they, they're arguing because of money. Usually they're arguing because of money. It's because, but sometimes they have nothing to eat. Then, because you, if you can't help them, then you need to tell, come to church and, and tell Pastor Pork and Pastor No. And then just give them food. And we just have to do what God tells us to do after, after repenting and praying. That is a life of faith. Oh, but if you do it, then you want other people to know about it. You're helping them out. Some people, they... There's a person that actually giving, giving chicken to a family. They, he parks his car right in front of the house and, and brings the, the chicken. And everybody can hear the chicken crying. So do not do it like that. Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. If your right hand does what the left hand doesn't know, very quietly, you should help them. What you should do is, is you should go to a supermarket near that person's house and just pay, pay for a bag of rice and just say, please deliver it to that person and not give them your name. And even Jesus did that. Feeding those who are poor. Helping someone and feeding the wit feed. Helping the wicked and feeding the wicked is two different things. Isaiah 31 verse 2. You have to feed them. But if you help them and, and making them, them live, if you help the wicked, then you're going to be doomed too. Look at what happened in our country. All the churches were so fake that the Ethiopia, where a long time ago they helped Russia and they became all, all poor. So if you help the wicked, then you're going to be doomed. Let's all live correctly. So right now, whose word are you listening to? Faith has left you and you're listening to the word of the word of the, the devil or are you listening to the word of God? But the word of God, if you want to have faith, then who, whose word do you have to listen to? You have to listen to the word of Christ, force your repentance, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. If you don't listen to that, you'll be doomed. So then when you listen to the word, you have to listen to the word of force your repentance, you can live. So, so that you can do well and everybody has to do well. So that's why if you listen to the demons and word of demons, then, then you, should all, you should instead become Shermans. So that you listen to the word of demons just like the top. But are there any Shermans that are blessed? No. I'm sure there's some of you here and your parent or their parents are Shermans, but nothing works out for you, right? They're doing some weird things. So please, through the blood of Christ, let's erase all that. So the blood of Christ. So God said, okay, okay. So he doesn't just give you one cup or two cups. No, take as much as you need. So like me, I have so many sins. I just make it into a, like a swimming pool and I just 
pour, to swim, swim in the blood of Christ. And I just cry when I cry out to the, and we, repenting. So it's like St. Paul, how did he, just, just read Acts chapter 20. He only spread the gospel to other people. And he, and he repented with tears, repented other sins as his sin. That's all he did. So repenting other people's sins as your sin, and then only give good words to other people so they can do well. And, and that's why St. Paul was, was such a precious servant of God. So then how about you? Whose word are you listening, listening to? So how can pastors say, oh, the seminarian was saying this. Why do they listen to? So are there any seminarians that repent 24 hours a day? Just like, are they the same as God? No, they don't. Some people come to me and say that I should write a book or, or to publish, publish the sermons. Even the other pastors come and tell me. Oh, but Pastor Park, oh, this, this kind of sermon, it, it can be hit in the world. And So when I pray to God, He says, you, you have the Holy Spirit, I will use your lips. And I'm afraid that my name may, may get out. Get out, Because if my name gets re popular, then I'm going to end up in hell. What, what good is that? If your name, if, look at the people. If they want their name to be popular, then they're enemy of God. Why do we need to boast? We just have to boast Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. Galatians 6 verse 14. And that is why Lord Jesus Christ, what is that? The cross. If they're sick, you heal them. If they're poor, you, you feed them. So even now, Look around the people around you, then you should do that. Otherwise, you just have to pray. This is a life of faith. So if 10 million people in Korea, the Christians, if they lived according to the Word of God, but instead of, if they don't listen to the worldly and demons, then our country will be all light. If one out of five people are Christians, so, so then why would there be anybody that's starving? Why would there be the homeless people? Everybody would take care of them because it's full of fakes. That's why they don't take care of those people. Oh, they don't help the poor. Why? Because they, 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 they only want to do what their name gets popular for. That's why they're not obedient to the Word of God. And that is why the, the poor people, they have nowhere to go to. There's no church that they can go to. God said anybody, anybody. So today, whose word are you listening to? Are you listening to the Word of God? That person will live. But you say you listen to the Word of God, but faith has left you, left you, then you're listening to the demons. That means that you're listening to people. Oh, these people say, or in the Bible, or in the, in the newspaper it says, so, in the, so in, the, in the newspaper it says that these people were slandering other people. God said that's that sentence. That's all you need to say. But instead of saying that, you say, oh, that person says this, so I'm going to do that. So that, that person also has demons. Oh, then you should know that if a pastor says that, then he has demons. If they're slandering other people and they're listening to worldly people, then faith has left them. They're fake. They're listening to demons. You know what's going to happen to them? They don't have the Holy Spirit. So they always listen to demons. That's all they follow. They don't listen to the Word of God. So those with demons inside, you, you spread the gospel to them. They say, oh, this is heresy. If the Bible is heresy, then how about the people who don't, who don't follow the Bible? Our country, how much more do they have to suffer before they come to their senses? Why is our country suffering? After liberation, why are they suffering? It's because of fake Christians ahead of them, ahead of us. That that's what they did. That's the fruit. And then they pretend like it's not their responsibility. Instead, they slander the, the politicians and they, they throw stones at other people. Starting now, let's come to our senses. Whose word are you listening to? If faith leaves you, whose word do you listen to? To the demons. So without the Holy Spirit, that cannot be chased away. Matthew 12, verse 28. That's why if you don't have the Bible, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, you have to continue to force your repentance and the Holy Spirit will be given to you. Matthew 12, verse 28. Ready? Go. But if by the Spirit of God cast out demons, then is the kingdom of God come upon you. Amen. So this is what God has recorded. 
With the Holy Spirit, the demons inside you have been has to be cast out. You have to cast out the demons, then the the kingdom of God will be on you. That's really the life of faith. Without the Holy Spirit, demons cannot be cast out. So what? So why do you say the the wrong things? By you have the demons inside you. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, then you have demons. God has recorded that. So how do you receive the Holy Spirit? Ephesians chapter one verse thirteen. Only when you do continue to force your repentance, God will give you that. There's no other way. So some people say Acts two verse thirty eight says you repent and then you're baptized and the Holy Spirit will be given to you. That is when you do continue to force your repentance. If you don't know your your shoes, the left and right, you have you flipped it over and you say, "Oh, that doesn't belong to you." No matter how much you try to to put them on. Because they're backwards, you say, "Oh, that's not the right shoes." But if you put it correctly, then you say that's your shoes. But if you flip it, then you say that's not your shoes. Who is that? It's really pathetic. If you if you cross the shoes, then you say that's not mine. But if you do it properly, you say, "Oh, that is my shoes," because you tried on backwards and it doesn't work. So you say that doesn't belong to you. That is what Holy Spirit is. And you can't even tell the difference. That's how much you lack in repentance. You don't know how to be shameful. Your conscience is seared. Let's read together. Ready, go. In whom you also, having heard the word of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom, having also believed, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. So the Holy Spirit that has been promised to you, when you continue to force your repentance, it'll be given to you. That's why in Christ, when you listen to the Word of God, when you're in Christ, the Word of God, when you listen Romans ten verse seventeen, you have to listen to Word of Christ. You have to, so that you can receive faith as a gift. So when you receive faith as a gift, then you don't have the demons inside. Then if faith leaves you, then you listen to the Word of the demons. So why does the faith leave you? Why does faith leave you? First Timothy chapter six verse ten. Because you love the worldly things, that's why. So today, if you love worldly things, then you already demons are inside you. Faith has left you. You have demons inside. So then, through the blood of Christ, you have to cleanse that. You have to cast the demons away. Then you don't listen to the worldly things. You will listen to the word of God, and that's why when you listen to word of God, then you will live. But if you listen to demons, you'll be doomed. So please. Listen to the word of God only and do well. So, what is the Mid-Autumn Festival? Why did our ancestors worship? I say it's a Mid-Autumn Festival. Why? Hangawi is actually Kawi is scissors, but Hangawi is actually means chusok. So, before you went to the burial site, you say, "Sister-in-law, let me just say one thing to you, sister-in-law, older sister-in-law. You really shouldn't do that." Then, then the older sister-in-law says, "Today, I let, let's just be quiet today. No, I just have to say one more thing to you." And then, then they get into a fight. They get into a major fight. Then the brothers they fight, and then the sister-in-laws they also fight. And that is why. That's why north and south we cannot become one. Why? Because a sister-in-laws, Tongzo is east and west, actually in Korean, but that means sister-in-laws. But they're also they're always arguing. TV is also the problem. Everybody is very full because in on TV, they're talking about when you bow down, your hands need to be like this. You think that's why our country is like this now? You think that because the hands are wrong, that's why face the wrong way. That's why you're bowing down. That's why your household is doomed. They're such foolish people. If they've ruined the country, then why do they still continue to do the foolish things? How much more do they have to be suffered before they come to their senses? I guess there's no real people around them who will reprimand them and say the right thing. So if you ruin them, you have to say the right thing. They say it's Chuseok, or they say it's a Mid-Autumn Festival. So even the young people, I was watching on TV. They, they were like dancing around, like like they had no bones. Why are they still doing that? That means that our country is still. They're very full still. That's why they're continuing to do such, such foolish things. So do they want to suffer until they're really totally down to nothing? And they say that's culture. 
What is culture? It's what's created after they started sinning. They can't tell the difference. So then we too cannot be ruined just with them. Now, if the pillar is strong, even there's no walls, it can still, the, 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 the building will still be up. So just like in Sodom and Gomorrah, God was looking for 10 righteous people. Just like the 12 disciples. As long as there's us, we will, we will be pillars. Let's all be pillars. Let's all be pillars and save our country. All of you, let's all be pillars. God is saying to you and me, whose word are you listening to? Pillars only listen to the word of, word, of, word of the owner. Just because the walls are crumbling, the pillars still need to be straight, straight upright. Let's listen to the word of God. What do we look up? 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Why did faith leave? It's because of sins coming out of our hearts. Let's read together. Ready, go. But the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, which some reaching after have, have been led astray from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Amen. If faith leaves you, then you're killing yourself. And that's why you have sickness. You have all kinds of sickness. Proverbs 18, verse 14. If your spirit gets sick, you'll have all kinds of sickness. You cannot heal over it. So then today, why did faith leave you? It says here. We just read it. So then does God tell you you should, you should live without money? No. You can have as much money as you need, but you just have to rule over that. You have to rule over that. So how should, you lo- how should you use the money? You have to rule over that. But if you love it, then you will be cursed. If you rule over that, then you will live. That's why, because, because you love money, that's why this wickedness coming out of your heart, love for money, you left it alone. That's why you love money. Matthew chapter 15, sins continually comes out. You have to continue erase that through the blood of Christ so you can rule over money. You have to rule over the world and let's be blessed that way. Sins coming out of your heart, if you don't repent, so look at the people who don't repent. They're so shameful. They're so shameless. They want their names to be written. They, they want their names to be well known. If I want, if Pastor Park wants, if Pastor Park wants to wants his name to be all well known, he will not not be like this. If he's so stiff, and all of you will be tired by watching Pastor Park being stiff. Same always flock together. Those who are two-faced, their actions they want, then they're two-faced. James chapter one, it's all it's all written there. If you're two-faced, then they have demons inside. They don't listen to the word of God. That is why, through the word of God, let's all only receive blessings. So how about you right now? What are you doing? Do you have demons inside this? If you have sins coming up, then faith will leave you and you're killing yourself and then you listen to demons. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Holy Spirit has expressly said that. You leave faith and then you only listen to the demons. Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. If you don't repent and you don't have the Holy Spirit, then you all have demons inside. Oh, this such and such pastor says this or such and such seminarian said this. So and so anthropologist says. So and so philosopher. They're all demons. Why do you want to listen to that? It's because you have demons inside. That's why you listen to them. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. So then whose word are you listening to right now? So are you listening to the, world, the worldly demons? And when that person came and t- said this to you, did you have love? Let's look up Hebrews 3, verse, thir- 3, verse 13. We have to repent this. The fact that you didn't do this every day, if you don't repent that, then you're not going to be, you're not going to be blessed and your children aren't going to be blessed. But I have, I have to share this in the name of the Lord. When you're repenting everything that you have sown here tomorrow and in the future, you will, you will have really blessed death and you will pass down blessing to your 10,000 generations, which is more than 10,000 millions of dollars you have passed down. Do not forget that. I am a witness of this. I have received all the blessings. Let's all receive the same blessings. Let's all receive this blessing. How precious is this promise? If there's no such promise like that, I wouldn't be here. I'll do whatever I want to do. If I like, that means it's not my inside. It's my flesh that likes it. So whatever my flesh likes, that's the enemy of God. That's the enemy of mine also, Romans 8 verse 5. So what do I like? My flesh likes it. So children, they like to play with sand. They're always playing, and they keep eating the sand. You know why? Because God has made them with sand, with the dust. 
Who eats the sand the most? Who eats the dust the most? Genesis chapter 3, the, the snake eats the most. That's why God cursed the snake and they're always eating the dust. So if you, so if you do what your flesh wants to do, that's why the little ones, children, they're always playing with sand and they're always playing with dust and clay. Even the adults, they go to the beach and they're, they're, they're playing with the sand and the, and, the, and the dust and the clay. It's because God has, God has made us with that. Why do you, why do you th as they get older, they're always sinning all kinds of adulterous sins? It's because that's what their flesh likes to do. The flesh is the, is the sand, is the dust, is the earth. That's the, that's the demons. Whatever that's inside you, that is who you are. That's why you're all fooled by the demons. You're not, you're not a spirit if, if you are worldly. Your body, your true self inside is inside you. Your body is just the dust. So when you're young, you're, you're playing in the sand and you're, you're playing with the dust and the dirt. And then as you get older, you're always playing with the dirt. And then as you get older, you don't actually play with that, but instead you're playing with the other, uh, other sand, other dirt, other people, other human beings that are just made up of the same dirt. How can you say that you're filial when you do that? The hidden self, that's who you are. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 4. That is why God said, those who are dead, let them, let the dead be with the dead. Luke chapter 9, at the last verse. You should read Luke chapter 9. What is it? What is, what is dirt? That is not person. That is just a vessel where your true self is. So if the vessel is so important, then you should actually save all the, all the vessels that all the plates and, and that your parents actually used and then bow down to it. No. And then you go to the burial sites and how many people get into accidents? If your ancestors, demons are actually looking after you, then why do you get into accidents? after you, you go visit them. So come to your senses. The word of God is the truth. It's because, are we really, are we really such foolish, so foolish and ignorant like our ancestors were? Let's come to our senses and live correctly. They're always talking about dirt. They're talking about people. They're not talking about the inner self. They're talking about the dirt. It's talking about the earth, talking about the dirt. Oh, they're 40 years old and then met with a 60 year old and then they, uh, they committed all kinds of adulterous sins. It's like this dirt made, met with 40 year old dirt, met with 60 year old dirt and then they did this. It's the same as the little kids. They're playing out in the streets with the dirt. It's really pathetic. God has raised you so high, but why do you want to continue to go down to that low level? Let's all live as an honorable man. But if you really true did, then what did you... Let's look up Hebrews 3 verse 13. Ready? Go. But exhort one another day by day, so long as it is called today, lest any one of you be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Amen. So today, this hour, if you truly love your neighbors... If you truly loved God, if you had God's love, then your your neighbors who whose where faith is left and they're listening to worldly and fake pastors and fake people, you would have exhorted to them. You you would have exhorted. You exhort each other. Did you truly do that? But instead, you sinned. So then let's let's then you have to repent again. It's because pa you have to you have to confess you didn't love your neighbor as yourself. And that is why you don't re receive blessings. Let's read it one more time. But exhort one another day by day, so long as it is called today, lest one, any one of you be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Amen. Why is it that you hardened? Your heart is hardened. It's because you're being tempted by sin. The sin's coming out of your heart. You have pierced yourself. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. You're hurting yourself. Faith has left you. You're listening to demons. That is why when you listen to worldly things, oh, that, oh, that person has demons inside. 
Please, if you say you believe Jesus, then do not listen to the worldly things. Only listen to the word of God. But some demons say, oh, but in the Bible, it doesn't, it doesn't apply to this generation. Let's look up Isaiah 34, verse 16. God said everything is in the Bible. Is that the end? This is the end. Pastor Park is saying, isn't it so long? You're, the sermon is so long that we have to put in that. We have to go to the end. If you pay to get it on the bus, you have to go to your, your stop. I don't know how long ago. It was like 20, 30 years ago. It, it goes to the end and then it comes around. I paid and then I just sit on there until five times it goes around and then I'm so hungry. But the asphalt is really old. The asphalt back then is very different. When I used to walk on the asphalt, my, my, my feet used to actually go down into it. Before I didn't have money back then for um, the train ticket. So then I used to walk all the way. And then at the train station, I would like scour the, the ground to see if there's any tickets that were dropped. It wasn't just me. Many people would just walk home or walk to the places for hours and hours because we didn't have money to buy the train ticket. And if you, if you actually pick up a ticket, and, but it was actually torn into a half. And sometimes you will, you will actually, you're so lucky that you pick a, a ticket, then that's your day. So happy. So then you and your friend only, you only pick up one ticket, then you have to walk all the way to the other train, the next train station and, and look for the, another ticket. And then if you can't find it, then, then you have to continue to walk. You walk so, for so many miles. And then what happens? After about 15 days of walking like that, then the bottom of your shoes is all gone. The bottom of the, the sneakers is all gone. You probably haven't experienced it, that you can't even, you're not nodding. You've never experienced that. We wanted to ride the train, but we weren't. We didn't have money to buy the ticket when we were young. Oh, but Pastor Park, why didn't you work? There were no jobs at that time. The women, they would marry into family if they were just being fed. And, there were, and people thought that they were lucky if they got married. There were no jobs back then. Everywhere, everybody would actually die to get a job if they were just being fed. There were no there were no jobs. There was no part-time jobs either. That's how our country was back then. We cannot go down that path again. But when? If you don't listen to the Word of God, then you'll go back to on that path. But if you listen to the Word of God, you live. But the Word of God is the Word of Christ. You say you live in faith? Just ask, go out and ask anybody, how do you... How do you get saved? Oh, you just listen to the Word of God and you just have to believe. No, only the Word of Christ. Romans 10 verse 11, you have to listen to the Word of Christ. Let's, look. Let's read together. Seek ye out of the book of Jehovah and read, No one of these shall be missing. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it has commanded and his spirit it has gathered them. Amen. Amen. There's nothing that is missing in this book. Everything is in here. But look at the fake elders and fake pastors. They say on TV, they say, oh, these days the Bible, it doesn't apply to these days. That's what they say. They're denying the Holy Trinity. God said everything is here. There's nothing missing. Oh, but they say, oh, but nowadays there's, not, there's nothing about computer in the Bible. You should read the Ecclesiastes. It, it talks about the computer. It's in here, but they can't even read it. So they make God a, a liar. They're going to be doomed. They're going to be cursed. There's so many. Let's live correctly. If you didn't, if you can't realize, and you, you, it's because you can't find the Bi in the Bible. But God says everything is in here. Nothing is missing. Let's exhort each other every day. Let's exhort each other every day, so our country can live. You and me, we have to live, and our country have to live. But we have to save our future generation. 
we cannot go down the path of suffering again. If you don't want to, then you have to listen to the word of Christ. You have to listen to the word of God. If, you, if faith leaves you, then you listen to demons. Then, you'll, then you'll, you will say the worldly things. Oh, such, such pastor says this, or this person says that, then you have demons inside. That is not a true church. They're selling the name of Jesus instead. So now that we have the Mid-Autumn Festival, do we truly love our neighbor as ourselves? Do we exhort each other? Do we look around and see if anyone was starving? Because if you didn't, then you're, you're a perishing animal. Let's repent that and let's save our country. Me and my children, we have to save our family. Let's save our country. Let us all pray together. Let's cry to the Lord and the demons will be cast away. We have to receive the Holy Spirit so that we can call out to the Lord. When we cry out to the Lord, all the demons around us will be cast away. Our country will be a blessed country. Let's pray. Ready? Go. Chuyo! 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 Father, whose word did I listen to? Did I exhort our neighbor with love? Father God, help us to have the right, correct realization. Did I truly love our neighbors with a true love? Help us to have right, correct realization today.